Yuchiro Hanma, the father of the ogre Yudro and grandfather of Jack and Baki Hanma. An absolute legend of the Bakiverse, but also a character with a lot of misconceptions and fake information spread throughout the fandom. Today I'll be going over how strong this beast truly is while clearing up all the wrong information out there. But first, make sure to leave a like on the video, 2000 likes and I'll release the next video in the series. Subscribe for more, hit the bell, now let's begin. Yuchiro has only appeared three times throughout the Bucky franchise. His first showing was in ghost-like form during the Bucky vs Yudro fight arc. This is at the end of the third manga series titled Bucky Son of Ogre, chapter 285 for reference. In this same arc we get his flashback and the other time we see him is in a Bucky spin-off manga titled Bucky Gaiden Kenjin, which is featuring the events of young Doporochi and we see Yutro in chapter 1. Let's discuss his first appearance in the main series. Bucky is almost knocked out on the floor but we see that his demon back has finally came out, with Yudro's demon back being out as well. We see Bucky who is in fact questioning whether or not he should give up. Then out of nowhere, Yudro became stunned and this is of course his father appearing in front of him. People somehow come to the conclusion that Yudro was scared in this scene, but if you look at the panels and what's being said, it's very clearly his absolute shock as anyone would be seeing the ghost of your father. However, this shock quickly turns into rage with Yudro screaming, what the hell are you doing here? Yutro laughs saying you haven't changed a bit, then does some shit talking which was great to see to be honest, saying fighting against a child yet you still have so much trouble. To prove the fact that Yudro wasn't scared even more, after we get Yutro's flashback which I'll talk about soon, we have Yudro in the present who states this, that was real nostalgic, I had almost forgotten his face and his favourite technique was really strong. With Yudro even looking happy in this panel here, which is quite strange. Regardless, before we cut into Yutro's flashback, he tells Bucky the following, make sure you win, which gives Bucky the drive to continue fighting and not give up like he was questioning to before. We don't know the specifics of the relationship between Yudro and his father, but we do get a few statements from Yudro that does clarify a few things. He talks about Yutro and himself being completely different people, more so extreme opposites of each other. So I think it's pretty safe to say they weren't close whatsoever. But the question is, how strong does this short scene imply Yutro is? One thing to mention is Pickle's reaction to this situation. This is very clearly a sign of fear, not whatever Yudro's facial expressions were. We can gather a few explanations for this. Pickle seeing a ghost would most likely mind break him more than any others considering who Pickle is. But also remember, Pickle is someone who views various fighters of the current age in reference to dinosaurs as a way to compare them and gauge them. Being scared of only a wasp, which he sees from Jack when he had the setup to kill Pickle. But even in that scene there, Pickle was kind of straight faced gang. And he kind of saw this wasp's bug like creature when fighting Musashi. But this reaction here is much different to all others we've seen from Pickle throughout the series. Whatever Pickle sees from Yutro could very well be scarier and more powerful than anything he's ever experienced before. But do take note, we don't really know anything about this because we didn't get Pickle's perspective in this scene. But yeah, something I noticed and wanted to talk about quickly. Bucky comments on his wise shoulders and is very clearly shaking from Yutro's presence alone. Yudra as well, even though he's angry for a short portion of this, allows Yutro to say and do whatever he wants, something quite out of character for someone like Yudro. So this scene alone does imply that of course Yutro is very powerful. Now let's get into his flashback, Yutro defeating the USA. On one small island, the USA used 1000 tons of ammunition sending bombs from the sea and sky at this one island alone, where we saw one man, Yutro, who uses soldiers as boards, showing his insane throwing strength and ability, taking down a small army and surviving even more bombings after the initial 1000 tons. The USA were questioning whether or not to use a nuke on Yutro. However, the war ended before the decision was made, so they in fact didn't use a nuke on Yutro. 
Utro didn't survive a nuke people, one of the main misconceptions throughout the fandom. And I also bet some people have already commented down below as soon as clicking on the video about Utro surviving a nuke or something crazy like that. The nuke was never used, simple. However, Utro did not stop. He attacked people on the ship, showing his demon back in the process. We learned that the ship he attacked had 2,000 soldiers on board and was one of the most powerful or single most powerful ship that was classified. Utro, with one technique, took out many of these soldiers and out of fear, the remaining soldiers jumped off the ship. Utro defeated them in a few minutes, in turn becoming the demon who defeated the United States of America with the technique known as Dress. At least in the translation I'm reading, there's a few translation issues throughout all of Bucky. This may be one of them, hopefully we get this clarified when the anime comes out, but I'll be calling it Dress. So regarding Utro's overall strength and ability, the most impressive aspect shown in his backstory is of course sending people flying through like the wood of the ship with a single attack. Him not showing any visible damage after surviving all the bombings and over 1000 tons of ammunition sent at him. Which is, you know, very insane. And the fact that the surviving soldiers pretty much saw any like boxing or martial art fight in their life as absolute trash compared to what Utero was doing during the war with one technique. Now let's talk about the Bucky Gaiden spin-off chapter. It begins by describing the fight of the century, the pro wrestling king who achieved the third highest rank in sumo versus our boy Utero who's described as a judo master so adding more to his overall ability. However, this fight didn't go as everyone expected. Utro pretty much through the fight didn't attack or do anything back and this allowed the pro wrestler to land all his blows until Utro was initially defeated. After that we see a somewhat injured Utro but people are shocked that he's still walking after the beating. So even though he has visible injuries, he's fairly, you know, fine. But then this is where we see a young Doppa Rochi which of course leads into the second major misconception to cover in today's video. We have no indication that this is Prime Doppa Rochi. And in fact, based on main series information, we can say that this isn't in fact Prime Doppa Rochi. We have various statements or showings of Doppa actually training and saying he's gotten stronger, meaning the current Doppo could be the strongest, but my personal view on this is the Doppo Rochi who faced Yudro when he had two eyes and that cross eyed you know, defense crazy technique is the prime of Doppo Rochi, not this version as, you know, it's kind of baseless. And I won't say it's thanks to this YouTube video, but I'm guessing it did play quite a big role in people saying this is prime Doppo Rochi. But regarding the scene itself between both of them, we have Doppo Rochi who realizes what Utro did in that fight. We learn that Utro was given money to pretty much throw the fight, doesn't really care and again complete opposite to the likes of Utro. We have him just laughing like oh whatever. But we do have implications that Utro regardless of being kind of a one trick technique master or a judo master is very knowledgeable calling out Doppo Rochi's karate mastery just from seeing his hands and other implications of other you know martial arts and skills Doppo's learned from just looking at his body. But we have Doppo just being triggered calling him out for him not having the pride and everything like that. And then we have Doppo landing a kick on Utro which Utro firms the kick he doesn't even really react except for the initial you know response of being kicked and says I think you broke my jaw this you know chilling with Doppo Roti right after that going to low diff the wrestler who paid off Utro in that fight showing that that wrestler is in fact absolute trash and Utro could have absolutely destroyed him if he wanted to but the main takeaway of this chapter is the final panel with Utro saying, You've really made my day. I'm glad someone out there knows just how strong I really am. And that is the end of everything we've seen from Utro in the story. So again, no indication that this is Prime Doppo Rochi. Him breaking Utro's jaw doesn't mean anything. The Jobba wrestler who Doppo, you know, clapped was able to injure, make Utro bleed, etc, everything like that. So again, that means nothing. 
Utro very clearly is a lot more stronger than, you know, Doppo in this situation, which of course puts him in the higher echelon by default, but I think a lot of people aren't thinking, you know, Utro is a mid-tier fighter. And then the other misconception about Utro, some people say he stopped his own heart and that's how he died. The truth is, we don't even know if he is dead. Considering he appeared in ghost form in the Bucky vs Yudro fight, that's the implication that he's dead, but we don't know how he actually died or when he actually died. So yeah, just wanted to clear that up as well. But how strong is Yutro? Based on various statements, implications throughout the story, he's not as strong as Yudro. He's not the strongest in the verse. He could very well be the second strongest, but... He's very clearly not stronger than Yudro. The day Yudro was born, he was deemed as the strongest creature. With that alone, that should be enough, and then various other crazy statements we get from Yudro. Didn't survive a nuke, maybe top 5, but definitely Yudro is stronger, but still an absolute mad lad. Hopefully we learn more about him at some point in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for today's video guys, hope you enjoyed. Join the Discord, follow the Twitter, and as always, shout out to the people who support the channel via the Patreon. But yep. That's guys, peace.